Police union prop crew has expressed its support to the eight arrested police officers on charges of murder and torture. In a statement released a short while ago, prop crew says it is disappointed by the arrests of eight police officers. Now, for more on that story, we are joined in studio by prop crew spokesperson Richard Mawabolo. Richard, let's talk about the incident in question. What really happened? Look, uh, we know that uh, the police acted on the basis of information that they got that uh, there was an alleged uh, drug den where they, where, where, and where they went to and they did find drugs there. So the, uh, an altercation broke out, uh, which obviously led to more people coming into this uh, uh, house and uh, uh, after this altercation we had one person dead now we feel that uh, it could not have been uh, uh, possible that there is sufficient proof to suggest that uh, uh, police all these police had killed uh, that individual in fact police were attacked in this armed day in uh, during that uh, altercation so we also feel that uh, the law has not been protecting police officers in fact uh, police officers now are scared of acting you know they don't know what to do. If they do act, they are found guilty. If they do nothing, communities blame them for not acting. Uh, drug uh, uh, drug challenges within our communities is a big issue. And of course, we think that uh, at every turn where there are drugs within our communities, uh, action should be taken. But again, we are against any form of uh, uh, brutality, be it against police, be it against communities. Uh, so, so we feel that uh, uh, the outcomes of uh, what has just happened is unfortunate. And we feel that uh, police are obviously demoralized. You remember just last week uh, the minister announced that uh, there are resignations within uh, the SAPS, many resignations. Now you've got a population of uh, 191,000 police officers who look after 57 million people across the country. Uh, under such jurists, uh, we think that uh, it cannot be that uh, at every 10 police are found guilty when they're trying to implement uh, law. So what you are basically saying is that reasonable violence was meted out in the situation that you have just described. Now let's turn it the other way around and let's look at the Nigerian National whose family are now saying that, listen, justice has been meted out and they do feel that um, the law has taken their plight into its hands and 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 justice has uh, justice has been meted out what do you say about that look for us it's not it's not even about whether it's a nigerian or any other foreign national it's about the fact that uh, we've got individuals who have been found to be uh, dealing with drugs selling drugs and in that instance whether it's south african or not it cannot be allowed that this continues and in fact uh, uh, the unfortunate death happened through an altercation where there were more people by the way, called into the house to come and obviously uh, disarm police officers. There were a lot of uh, police vehicles that were damaged in the incident, so it cannot totally be blamed on police officers as well. So that's where we stand, actually. Now, in your statement, you say you will defend the arrested officers. How are you going to do that? Look, we will, we've got our lawyers already who have committed to represent them in the cause. Uh, they are, they'll be appearing tomorrow at the Fandervale Park Court. So, so we'll be defending them, and we hope that they are soon released. Thank you very much. We'll definitely keep in touch with you so that we can give you updates on the story as and when it becomes available. That was Ronnie Mamabola, or rather Richard Mamabola, the spokesperson of Pop Crew, stating that the union supports those policemen who were tortured for, um, who are arrested for torturing a national last year.